Hello, Hello Halim. <laughs> Hello, Terry. How are you today? I'm doing well, thank you. It's nice uh, weather today. Yeah, well, it's kind of rainy, but it's warmer. So that's that's nice that it's getting warm out, although it's supposed to be really hot this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so, you know, I've been thinking, actually talking about weekends, I've been thinking about Memorial Day because this last Monday in the United States, we celebrated Memorial Day and we, you know, most of us had a day off. And, and dirt leading up to the day, that day, one of my Facebook friends, a military veteran, wrote a post that said, don't wish me a happy Memorial Day. I'm not dead yet, <laughs> which, which stirred up some conversation on the Facebook page and got me thinking about who is it that we honor on Memorial Day and what is its history? So Memorial Day in this country began just after the Civil War and there are documents that tell the story of a group of formerly enslaved people in South Carolina who knew of a mass grave of prisoners of war and when the Civil War ended, they dug up the mass grave and found a way to return the bodies of these soldiers to their families. I think they were all soldiers. They might have been other people, but return the bodies to their families. There were several other events that people held following the Civil War that, that influenced the formation of Memorial Day. And then there was also events after World War I and World War II to honor fallen soldiers for giving their all. That's the language we use, giving their all because they gave their lives to protect the cause of freedom in this country. And you know, the, the, the cause of freedom or the journey of freedom has been an imperfect journey uh, for sure in this country because some lives have always mattered more than others. Uh, and so, and although, although we're working to try and level level that out so that it's, an equal, it's equal for everyone, uh, that's the whole Black Lives Matter movement, which has been so important for us in these days to, to recognize that that the injustice of how some lives have mattered more than others. But for most of its history, Memorial Day was called Decoration Day because, the effort, because of the effort for, on that day was to decorate the graves of fallen soldiers. And it wasn't until the 1960s that Memorial Day became a nationally recognized holiday. And, and I remember, I mean, I was a kid, but I remember when Congress created legislation that anchored certain days, certain uh, I think so President's Day, Memorial Day, Labor Day, those might be the days that, that were determined to be um, these sort of special holidays that were going to fall on a Monday. And they were falling on a Monday to create the opportunity for a three-day weekend for working people to have three days off in a row. Uh, and so uh, Memorial Day became the last Monday in May and, it, and so that's when it always falls for us in order to create this three-day weekend and to honor the occasion. And so in particular, it's a, it's a day when we honor soldiers who died in battle and we honor them with um, different commemorations and also with parades and picnics. And it's become the unofficial launch of the summer season. <clears throat> and so one of the things that I think about when, when I think of the summer season, how it launches the summer season is that, um, that the custom used to be, it's not so much true anymore, but the custom used to be that one was not supposed to wear white before Memorial Day or after Labor Day. <laughs> so, so Memorial Day became the occasion when you could wear white again. Anyway, I'm wondering, uh, is there a Memorial Day in Lebanon? Yeah, sure. Uh, and thank you for sharing about the Memorial Day here in the country. And uh, it's very interesting. Uh, when I choose that, uh, so, uh, some of the commemoration here in the States uh, uh, falls on Monday, which gives you a long weekend to celebrate this uh, commemoration. So it's very interesting because back home, usually we have fixed dates uh, for all uh, the commemoration uh, and the national holidays. So the story uh, in Lebanon, we celebrate what we call uh, the Martyrs Day. And also like the story here of this day, it has a long history and it developed, uh, you know, what now we come, what we celebrate in Lebanon nowadays. Uh, so I will share with you uh, the history of the Martyrs Day in Lebanon. Uh, as you know, uh, Lebanon was under the Ottoman Empire uh, and was part of uh, uh, this, uh, a uh, big empire uh, uh, and uh, and so uh, and lately uh, then 
uh, Lebanon uh, was a part also in the empire, what was called the greater Syria. And I will share with you uh, this one, the second slide. So this is, Lebanon was uh, after the Ottoman uh, the Ottomans came uh, to what we called uh, to the east, to the Mediterranean, and they uh, were occupied this uh, part of land, what uh, land of the Middle East, and they called it the Greater Syria. And uh, it was under the uh, uh, Ottoman and the Turks uh, from uh, 1516 until 1918. So in the end of uh, the First World War. Yeah. So in, uh, uh, as you know, when uh, before the World uh, War I and at the, during at that time, nationalism started to raise in Europe. And also the nationalism uh, has also influenced uh, in the East and uh, the people who lives in a greater Syria started to call about uh, uh, calling for Arab nationalism. And they asked uh, the Arab nationalism, they started asking about to have like a greater use uh, of Arabic in education because mostly the education was in, uh, in Turkish. So they asked more about the Arabic uh, uh, education um, and it also asked about uh, uh, for the Arabs who will serve under the Ottoman uh, army uh, to have uh, uh, more, uh, you know, to be advanced more in the hierarchy of the army. So the Arab nationalism became like a great movement. And also at that time, uh, be, during uh, 1914 or before, also the, Turk, uh, the Turkish uh, nationalism started. So there was this big fight between the Arab nationalism and the Turks nationalists, which wants to influence the Turkish language and the Turkish uh, culture on Arab. Uh, yeah. was it a, a literal fight or was it sort of a, uh, a philosophical fight? Uh, they, like a political philosophical. fight, okay. political fight. Okay. Uh, but then it developed, uh, this fight started to develop, you know, when this raid uh, and uh, started to uh, bring the attention of the Arab nationalism, it started bringing a, a, a rage uh, yeah. of, uh, uh, for the Turks. And uh, on May 6, uh, 1916, on May 6, 1916, mm -hmm. uh, the government of Greater Syria at that time, uh, he was at a Turkish government. His name is Jamal Basha. Mm -hmm. And Jamal Basha was known as uh, in Arabic Al Jazar, the butcher. So on May 6, 1916, he executed seven Arabs in Damascus and 14 in Beirut, uh, seven Arab nationalists in Damascus and 14 in Beirut. So May 6 is a martyr's day, both in Lebanon and Syria. Right. So those are people that we see hanging there. Yeah, they were they were publicly executed in a square in Beirut. And this oh. is where has become known the martyrs square. And so this is now, and nowadays they build like this is statue to honor the martyrs. And so May 6 became a, uh, a national holiday uh, to commemorate uh, the uh, martyrs, the 14 martyrs who were executed by the Turks uh, in, in Beirut and also in Damascus, the seven martyrs. And this continue this commemoration until uh, uh, 1975, the beginning of the Lebanese civil mm. war. And so uh, the civil war in Lebanon, it lasted be, uh, from 1975 until 1990. And so there were more than 100,000 people killed in that war. So after the civil war uh, ended, uh, May 6 become a commemoration for all the martyrs who have died during yeah. the civil war. Yeah. But as you have mentioned, uh, unfortunately, you know, the political things, some martyrs have become more important. You know, political parties 
they uh, started commemoration and these martyrs are important than these martyrs and then uh, this month and, and then it not become that much a popular uh, commemoration in Lebanon. Mm -hmm. And uh, recently uh, the uh, Lebanese commemorate the uh, journalist martyrs who have been died, uh, you know, during the war and uh, after, you know, because a lot of journalists were killed in Lebanon even after the civil war because of the freedom of the speech. So uh, May 6 become a day uh, to commemorate uh, uh, the uh, journalist martyrs. Uh -huh. uh, and now uh, this is square, what we call the martyrs square in Beirut, it becomes the square of liberation. So you remember in 19, uh, uh, 2019 when the revolution uh, started in Beirut, so this becomes the square that all the Lebanese come to revolt against the economic situation and uh, the political sit situation. So the Martyrs Square has become like the hub uh, for freedom for the Lebanese. So uh, Halim, you live, did you live near this square? Oh yeah, it's not that much far. I can walk like uh, from my <laughs> So during the, uh, you remember when I was in Beirut, uh, in, uh, in 2019, so I can uh, walk from my home uh, uh, directly to that square and uh, can, uh, you know, uh, see all these uh, protests and... Uh, yeah. uh, so th this was just your neighborhood? Yeah, this is my neighborhood. And this is, the, this is what we call the downtown Be Beirut. So okay. this is like the center of uh, Beirut, the martyr uh, square. And what's the big building that's on the right? On yeah, that building. Uh-huh. Yeah. What is it? Yeah, it's uh it's uh the it's a big mosque in Beirut. Uh it's called Al Amin uh, uh, uh mosque and it was uh, built uh, after the war. Uh, okay. in, in Lebanon. Uh, so in the 1990s it was built. Yeah, and uh, and it has uh, uh, and the prime minister Rafiq Al Hariri who was also uh, killed uh, in 2005. Uh, is buried uh, in that mosque. Uh, so one of these days we'll have a conversation about the the political makeup in Lebanon because the as you've been making some references to the the different as you did last week in our conversation about a little bit about racism and now today the the makeup in Lebanon is is determined by one's religion. Yes. Right. And so that also falls in the political party. So maybe next week or sometime down the road we'll have a conversation about about that, because it's really fascinating to me how that how the structure works. Yeah, thank you so much. You know, it's uh, yeah. uh, as much as we know about the culture and each other, and we can see how things develop, even like what here in the state, how it starts the Memorial Day and Lebanon, how the uh, uh, Memorial, uh, uh, the Martyrs Day uh, started and then uh, the way it developed. Uh, and it's great when we remember the history it helps us more to understand uh, also because the uh, history can teach us a lot about yeah it. well it's it's interesting uh, you know to think about the impact of the civil war in this country the impact of the civil war in lebanon which is much much uh, more recent and you were alive during that civil war you and your family lived through it um but to think about how how countries how people and countries sort of reconnect and start to move on with their lives following such a, a huge um, division that comes with the civil war. So that's that's interesting to have more conversation about that down the road. But but thank you for taking some time with me today to think about Memorial Day and how it looks how it looks in this country, um, and then how how it is in Lebanon, which there's some very distinct similarities. Uh, to it, even though we have them on different days and, and they kind of came about in different ways. So thank you for that. Thank you so much, Reverend Tell. Right. Have a good rest of the day, Halim. You too. I'll talk to you later. Bye.